Over the past several years, LG has emerged as one of the top names in OLED TVs. And that was true again this year in 2024 as the G4 series turned heads at CES, which is considered the most powerful tech event in the world. Like its predecessor, the G3, the G4 looks to be one of the best OLED TVs of the year. But how much of an upgrade is this year's model over last year's? And how do you decide which one is best for you? In this video, we will conduct a battle of comparison in step-by-step -step between the top two LG TV models, which might help you to decide in this sales season. But before we continue on today's video, let me introduce myself. I am your host, The Techie Guy, and I love to create and share these kinds of videos with you. I would request you to hit that like and subscribe button. This little help of yours helps the YouTube algorithm to suggest our videos to more tech enthusiastic people just like you and me. Thanks for understanding. All done, let's continue. When it comes to the TV itself, the two don't look that much different as both are slim sets designed to be mounted on a wall. However, on the inside, the two couldn't be more opposing as the G4 provides a significant jump in image quality. And of course, just being better doesn't necessarily mean it's right for everyone. Here's a breakdown of the biggest differences between LG's G3 OLED TV and G4 OLED TV plus a few key reasons to buy each one. These are the few requirements to consider if you want to buy the LG G4 OLED TV. If you want the biggest screen you can get, the choice between the G4 and the G3 is clear. The G3 is available in 55, 65, 77, and 83 inch sizes, but the G4 adds on a massive 97 inch option. Of course, you'll pay a premium for that size. At $2,600 for the 55-inch, the G4 is already on the more expensive side of televisions. But if you want the 97-inch model, you'll pay the price of a small car that is around $25,000. Just for a price comparison, the 83-inch G3 will set you back $5,000 while the G4 in the same size is $6,500. Further from the release of the G4, that gap will probably widen as the G3 drops in price. Comparing pure specs between the two sets, one thing that immediately jumps out is the difference in refresh rate between the G3 and G4 series. While the G3 has a respectable 120Hz, the G4 leaps to 144Hz. That might seem small to most people, but if you're a serious gamer or watch many action movies with fast movement, you'll likely notice the difference in added motion. The G4 also has support for both ALLM and VRR plus NVIDIA G-Sync certification. Most often, the upgrades from one year's TVs to the next leave questions about whether it's worth upgrading to or not. That question may not be as prevalent this year as the G4 takes the already stellar G3 and improves on it in almost every way. The G4 packs several improvements like the A11 chipset that LG says should provide 30% faster processing and 70% better graphics. While the two sets both use the same micro lens array that allows for a brighter than normal screen, the new chip allows the G4 to reach a peak brightness level 150% brighter than a traditional OLED, making it perfect for brighter rooms. Another awesome feature is the AI Picture Pro feature on the G4 means that the picture will look better too including director processing, which automatically adapts the picture to portray the director's true intentions. In terms of sound, while it was a weak point of the G3, the G4 changed the speakers from a 9.1.2 setup to an Atmos-capable 11.1.2 system, which also benefits from the A11 chip. The LG G4 OLED is the epitome of luxury in home entertainment. With a massive 97-inch option, cutting-edge 144Hz refresh rate, and superior picture and sound, it's designed for those who seek the best. The G4's premium price reflects its status as a technological marvel for gamers and cinephiles alike. I hope now you know why and which model you need to buy. If you have enjoyed this video, then why don't you check out my other videos shown on the screen? Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.